Are you having a hard time getting Claude Co. to do anything other than build you a budgeting app? You're not alone. I've been building software for over 10 years, from trading systems to data pipelines, now working as an AI research engineer. And learning tools like Claude Code was harder than I expected. But after spending the last month or so really just focused on learning these tools well, I feel like I've gotten to a much better place now. And I want to share five things that I wish I knew when starting out that really have improved the quality of software I'm able to write and what I'm able to get done with Claude Code. So the first point is to start with the end in mind. You need to define what success looks like. I think for me at first, I was giving these tools too much credit and I wasn't spending that initial time thinking through what it was I actually wanted to do. And now, of course, you can use an AI chat model to help you with your plan, but spend some time there up front and then produce a document or produce a markdown file that you can take with you to your coding tool that captures that context of what you're trying. The next thing I learned was I need to spend more time up front really building that validation cycle, understanding how I can test what was built. How can I prove what was built is working? I think what's really shifted with AI code tools is more of my time is spent developing the constraints rather than actually implementing the code itself. But it's been a challenge and it's been really important for me to learn to slow down there because slowing down here and setting up the constraints, setting up the testing and the validation correctly is actually making me go so much faster because now the code part becomes like instantaneous here. Tip number three is try not to let the AI run too far ahead of you. And this has been a big struggle for me as well, but I think it comes back to, again, defining the constraints and having that plan to work off of. Have it go step by step. I'm sure you've encountered this to some extent already, but the more it does in one shot, the more I'm racing to try to keep up with the model, the more I lose context, the more I'm not able to redirect it when things go wrong, or the more likelihood subtle bugs get introduced. So trying to always constrain it with limiting it to implement this step, implement this step. And then related to these three points, the key point number four is I started to use multiple windows. So with Claude Code, you can open different terminals, but I'll have each one of them with a different role where I have like my planning agent or my planning chat thread where I'm talking through and sharing context of the project, what I'm doing. And maybe as we're working, I'm thinking, oh, would this be better? And I'm having that conversation separately from my coder, my implementing terminal, which is the one that is actually writing the code step-by-step step within those well-defined constraints that I mentioned earlier. And then a third window I'll sometimes have open, or if I'm in cursor, that'll be the, the chat panel on the side where I'll switch to ask mode is to help explain the code that the AI agent has just written. So like when I have questions about like, why did you do this? Or what does this function do? I haven't seen that before. I'm not clogging up the main chat thread where the coder is being written. I'm doing that off on the side and I'm able to go deeper and like kind of dive down into certain threads there as needed. The next step is to remember the fundamentals of good software engineering. Now, I think we've all heard that expression, like when you win the lottery, um, money doesn't change you, it just amplifies who you are, right? I think with code, with AI code tools, it's very much the same concept that AI code tools just amplify your good and bad qualities as a software engineer. And I've certainly noticed this in myself, but because they become more visible, I'm able to work on those bad qualities and, you know, see the first few points I mentioned, I think starting with a better test or validation framework was one of my weaknesses. And now it's become painfully obvious I need to do that more. And with AI code tools, it's actually much easier to do that. And, and I think it's the much more effective way to work with these things. But the, the key like fundamentals to remember, I think are, you know, when you're prompting the model to implement things for you, Tell it you want your system to be modular so you can have like functions grouped together. You want functions that do one thing. You want things that are composable so you can just keep building together. You want stuff that's easily extendable. You want stuff that's easily testable. Remember the essentials of software engineering and the clean code and those types of rules. Those basics, I think, are still incredibly important now. But it's good to explicitly call them out in your prompts. And then the last step is like know when to clear the context. Know when you need to take a break. I've been swept up in Claude Code's vortex once or twice where we just get caught going in circles. And every time I call it out, it's like, you're absolutely right. I was wrong. Let me do it this way instead. And when you get to that point and you're starting to get frustrated with the chat thread, clear the context, start a new chat thread, start over, take a break yourself. Uh, and this is, you know, me talking to myself as well. When I start going in circles, that's usually a sign I need to back off. You can ask the model to dump the current state of the conversation. So if I'm using Claude Code, I'll say something like, you know, write a, write a to-do doc for tomorrow, le like where we left off in our plan, like capture the context of this chat. And then I'll start fresh with that. And then finally, like, while these are just a handful of tips that have been helping me lately, all of this is new. Like we're all figuring this out together. It's constantly evolving. I'm still figuring out how these tools work. We all are. Um, I'd say the only thing to remember now is you're not behind. You're still early. This is all changing very quickly as these models get better, as new tools come out. Don't race around trying to keep up with everything. 
I think you can actually make sustainable progress by like, picking one thing and going a little bit deeper than someone would or than you normally would, rather than having this breath first approach, trying to do it all, just go a little bit deeper, learn something that can be useful tomorrow, the next week or in another tool uh, and hang in there. Good luck. Like this is really fun. It's really exciting, but it's overwhelming. I, I'm with you. Uh, so I hope this was helpful. If you're interested in joining my Discord where I'm building Open Augie, a tool for distilling your AI chats and second brain notes into a single unified view that helps you deduplicate and extract insights from all the information you are processing, uh, check out the link below, join us on Discord, join the GitHub. Um, I should have a demo out soon, hopefully. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.